Hello everyone, my name is Chao Li. This study is about proposing and developing a role-based decision support system prototype for audit planning and audio risk assessment. Although there's a lot literature talking about the uh, audit planning and audit risk assessment models, there's very few recent studies actually uh, focused on the developing and examining audit decision support tools or systems that can help the auditors to evaluate information and make subsequent judgments for risk assessment process in the audit planning process. So there's several purpose for the proposed tool. The first, it should work as an interactive tool. So it can be used during the discussion of the audit planning and risk assessment process. It will provide in-time decision aid for the risk assessment, such as responses to the auditors, and also provide some suggestions based on the calculations, comparisons, ratios, and ranking, rankings, etc. Secondly, it should be a rule-based tool. This will allow the auditors to choose various situations uh, where they want to do the analysis or get the suggestions, such as they can choose different industries, different forms, um, different character, different categories and levels of risks, um, such as the uh, form level risks or the external risks. And also, significant accounts can be identified and give some suggestion to the auditors. Certainly, this can work as a database that provides supplement memory for the auditors. Because auditors need to um, extract a lot of information from their memory during their discussion, and this will allow the uh, will allow the auditors to get information extracted from multiple sources stored in the database, such as some traditional sources, such as financial reports, and also news from the internet, predefined policies and rules, etc. So this is a preliminary structure for the uh, proposed decision support system. The left side is the system. It has two parts. The left one is the databases, which will include all the uh, information sources, such as the uh, financial statement, account, accounting policies, uh, the past audit, historical changes, etc. Uh, last part is the robust models that will uh, provide some functions and suggestions to the auditors, such as identifying external factors and um, company-specific factors, fraud risk factors, and also um, provide such as risk assessment rankings and also the suggestions for the uh, controls and for inherent risk. And this part is actually the risk assessment procedures that are followed by the auditors during their discussion in the risk assessment. Um, from understanding the industry, the uh, economy, the environment, understand the company, and also assess the inherent risk and control risk, also identifying the uh, fraud risk, etc. So these include some uh, different topics they will discuss, and they can interactively use this tool during the discussion to help them. So this is the preliminary main sections of this study. I plan to have first is the literature review, and then I will discuss the future of audit plan and risk assessment, such as the replacement of the existing audit process, etc. And then I will discuss the uh, audit risk, uh, audit risk assessment procedures of different industries learned from the four four verbal protocol analysis cases we have. And then based on the uh, VPA results and based on PCAOB audit standards, I will create the risk assessment procedures for the decision support system. So this will include all the processes, all the procedures that auditors can use step by step. Then I will create the rules for the uh, proposed tool and identify all the data sources that should be uh, stored in the system. And 
Lastly, I'll select a platform and develop the prototype. So this is a preliminary result on common procedures in the verbal protocol cases. So the left side are the procedures that are commonly appeared in the four cases. These are partial results on the summarized risk assessment procedures that should be included in the decision support system and should be, uh, these topics should be considered by the auditors during the risk assessment. So these are some of them. Thank you.